Hello everybody, I'm really pleased to have this chance to chat to you about my favourite subjects, brands and marketing. My name is Peter Sower and I've had the very good luck to work in uh, brand management and marketing leadership for almost 30 years. I've uh, lived and worked uh, doing national, regional and global jobs in the UK, China, the Netherlands, uh, Ireland, and I've travelled and worked in something like 30, 32 countries and had the good luck to work and build diverse teams and create strategy, um, build categories and brands and deliver plans and I work with wonderful people all over the world um, and I believe that you know that diversity of people is an enormous power um, and that has included uh, when I was running Unilever's global oral care business uh, running that included the brand leader in toothpaste in Vietnam and I also came to Vietnam for my honeymoon with my wife in 1994. Okay enough of the introductions. Um, uh, a little bit about marketing and brand management. I genuinely believe this is the most exciting place to build a business career uh, and for three reasons. Firstly you are in a place where you can play the central role in defining brand and company purpose. And this is so important now. Um, if companies are going to grow to any scale, they must have a sustainable business model. And by that I mean growing, but growing by doing something that is right for our society, for our planet. And that may be to do with the environment, it may be to do with diversity or the awareness of mental health or encouraging small farmers, but we must embrace purpose, positive purpose, and use brands and business to delight people and contribute to the future of our planet for our children. Secondly, in marketing leadership, you will develop the key capabilities for any sort of business leadership. And in my view, they are these three. Firstly, emotional intelligence, the ability to handle your emotions rather than have your emotions handle you. Secondly, critical thinking, the ability to handle enormous amounts of data that are available to us now and use them to get to decisions. And thirdly, creativity, to take those data and decisions and come up with exciting answers, creative answers that your competitors will not find. The third reason why marketing and brand management is so exciting and central is that this is the one place that has the capability to handle the consumer experience from beginning to end uh, within a company. And you can champion that and it makes marketing the central function. From before a consumer even thinks about your category, how you are going to, they're going to know about you through to using, buying, and then recommending your brands to others. So these are the three reasons I believe that marketing is and brand management is the exciting place to build a career now. And core to brand marketing are two things, curiosity in people and passion for product. So I hope you all are feeling those, a great curiosity in why people do what they do, and a passion for all sorts of products that you may work on, from shampoo to cars, from hotel rooms to taxi ride hailing, everything that people use and the way they experience the world. And the core way that we as marketeers interact with people, consumers, is through brands. And what is a brand? Well, it's a distinctive composition of rational and emotional, of product and promise. Brands must be consistent and fresh. That consistency delivers trust. It enables consumers to know what they've tried before or heard about, that it will be good again, great again. And freshness, to, it, because to, to remain modern and interesting, you can't have the same conversation over and over again with anybody in life. So you must be able to build a brand that is consistent and fresh. Uh, and I, as I said, at the centre of that, uh, the product itself must be great. You know, the thing that people use must deliver. But it, alone, that is not enough. Any product now pro can be copied 
relatively quickly, any innovation can be copied. So what brings distinctiveness is the emotional connection. Uh, imagine the emotional relationship you have with any person. That's what makes that person distinctive to you. Now, what are, last few words on brand management. It is more complex, more challenging and more exciting than ever, certainly more than 10 years ago. Why is that? Three reasons. Firstly, purpose, as I mentioned. You now have to go beyond sim simply function and emotion, but get deeper into it in terms of purpose. Why are you, why is this brand or this company on the planet? Why should I, as a consumer, give you my time, my attention, my money? Secondly, data. There's so much data now. So how do you select what data to use and then use it brilliantly in order to deliver consumers wonderful end-to-end -end experiences? And thirdly, technology is so fast moving, so many things that are actually not useful to you but people are telling you are, and occasionally there are great changes which make, which make all the difference. So for example now, uh, for brands to consider what is going to, what is blockchain or artificial intelligence or voice going to do for their brands? How could it recreate the category a brand work, it currently operates in or allow a brand to take great steps? These are the sorts of things. So purpose, data, technology, and all of these things allow us to imagine now that a brand could have an individual relationship with every one of its consumers, a tailored discussion over time with a portfolio of brands and products, but an individual interaction. And let's finish with that thought about portfolio. You know, uh, we may work on any one brand at a time, but ultimately most companies will have a portfolio because in any market or category, there will be a variety of needs, of experiences, of consumers. We are not all the same. To stay with one brand gives focus, but of course is risky. If you look, for example, at Coca-Cola, its core brand is Coca-Cola, but they have diversified into many, many other brands and sort of categories, which gives them strength and de-risks the business. If we look now, for example, at the growth in, in let's say, healthier type drinking compared to original sparkling drinks. And if we take Unilever as an, a fascinating example, the Unilever brand encompasses the overall purpose of the, brand, of the company Unilever, and I encourage you to go online and have a look at that. Um, and then within the portfolio, each brand brings its own extra flavour and benefits, whether it's Axe or Dove or Purcell or Pepsodent or Close Up or Hellman's or Ben & Jerry's. They all share the same values and core company purpose of Unilever, but beyond that, they bring their own special branded purpose and benefits. I hope that's useful. I hope that's interesting and inspiring. And I wish you all great success with your careers and with your learning in brand management and marketing.